Hey guys, it's Bia back at it again with another video. Today I'm showing you guys my summer workout routine. I love starting a workout with a mix of static stretching, which is holding a pose for 30 to 60 seconds, and dynamic stretching, which is movement based stretching. This ensures I am warmed up for an amazing workout. sure to stay hydrated because I'm about to have an intense workout and I do not want to get dizzy and pass out so drink that water guys before I even get into the workout I do a quick 5 to 10 minute warm-up on the Stairmaster this is gonna help my body get ready for lifting it's going to work out my legs so they're nice and strong I also warm up my glutes on the Stairmaster it's just a perfect place to start a workout say you're going to feel the burn on this you are going to feel the burn and girl you know I had to check myself out real quick Ooh, look at me next I am doing these deep squats that are elevated I do these for three sets of 20 And then I move on to do lunges with a kick up. I don't know what this is called, but I keep my core tight so I'm working out my legs, my glutes, and my core all at once, which is amazing. This is my holy grail bum buster workout. Get on the floor on a Smith machine and just do some squats. You are going to feel this like no other workout, I'm telling you guys. And I do at least three sets of 20. On to my least favorite workout and it's my arms. I do only two sets of 10 for these workouts because I suck at doing arms. I'm trying to get better, guys. You see me. I'm just flexing my arms. All right, guys, next workout. I'm gonna show you guys my favorite floor workouts. First, I'm starting with these glute bridges. The best way to do these is just squeezing your glutes as you push up from your hips. And then I'm also going to do some doggy kicks to the back and fire hydrants to the side. So keep on watching to see what I do. Time for abs! So right here I'm doing bicycles and I do 60 in total. I do 30 biking towards myself and then 30 biking away from myself. Immediately after, I do in and out, and I do in and out to the front, in and out to the right, in and out to the left, and I do 10 for each side. You guys, this is gonna burn, but it's gonna be a good burn. is elbow to knees and this one it really focuses on your obliques and keeping that core tight so I recommend this one for all those people who want really tight abs 
do this one always. Always, always, always. Guys, I'm laughing watching this. But I love to stretch in between ab workouts because it's sore so quickly, so I have to take a second to stretch. Lastly, for abs, I'm doing scissors, and the main focus of this workout is to keep your legs straight and focusing on the core being tight. I immediately go into stretching after abs because my body at this point is super tight and it needs to be stretched in all ways. So I'm gonna be stretching now. And it's really important to stretch. I hope you guys stretch before and after you work out. As you guys can see, I don't play about stretching. I really make sure to stretch every inch of my body because I do not want to be sore the next day. And last but certainly not least, I jump on the treadmill and do sprints at like seven speed and I really like doing this at the end of my workouts recently. I just love the feeling of getting off the treadmill and knowing I did a good workout. My workout is now complete. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!